fortress city of Carcassonne is a 13th century world of towers, turrets, and cobblestone alleys. This is Europe's ultimate walled fortress city. While it's packed with tourists midday, it's all yours and evocative as can be early and late. The city's stern ramparts evoke a time when defenses were stronger than offenses. And the only way to beat a place like this was a starve him out siege. Charlemagne laid siege to this place, and after several frustrating years, he ran out of patience. While the ramparts seem mighty enough, moats added to the fortified city's defenses. While not really filled with water and alligators, moats were generally just a dangerous no man's land designed to expose attackers. Small square holes on the inner wall once supported timbers, which supported defensive walkways. Modern shops fill buildings that date from Carcassonne's golden age, the 1100s, when troubadours sang ballads of ideal love, chivalry was in vogue, and a pragmatic spirit of tolerance pervaded everything. This became a center of the Cathars, a heretical group of Christians who thrived around here from the 11th through the 13th centuries. They saw life as a battle between good, the spiritual, and bad, the material. To the Cathars, material things were evil and of the devil. As France was working to consolidate its central power, it clamped down on feisty regions like this, especially if they were sympathetic to heretical groups like the Cathars.